Hi there, uh, welcome to Inner Village. My name is Denise and I'm a yoga instructor based in Toronto and I'll be guiding you through restorative yoga for self-care. Rest is such an important part of our lives. It's a new year, so if you haven't already put rest at the top of the priority list, go ahead and do so now. We've been so programmed to be productive and to be doing the most when really we should treat rest as a daily part of our lives. Rest is just as important as activity. And so we should learn how to rest and restore and realign. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. So before we get started, uh, we're just gonna need a few props. So you could have two blankets and a bolster. And I understand that uh, you might not have a bolster at home. So if not, you could get two to three pillows and just stack them one on top of the other. So we will be started in a supported butterfly pose. And I really invite you all to get cozy, maybe dress in your favorite sweats, maybe light a candle. Um, I'll be easing you into these poses and we'll be exploring these shapes in stillness um, for a few minutes. And then I'll let you know when to come out of this pose. Uh, by using the singing bowl. So I'm just gonna show you what it'll sound like, a, a pose, um, sorry, a sound that will cue you out of this shape. So it's gonna sound like this. And that's when you'll know when to come out of that restorative pose. So whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and move on to our seat bones. And we're gonna grab our bolster or our stack of pillows and just align it with the long edge of your mat. And so, the short edge of the pillows or the bolster are, is just gonna be aligned with your sacrum. And then you're gonna take the two blankets and fold them to even heights. So if you have them in a rectangle, then just fold it once more and have them rest underneath your knees. They're gonna be supporting both of your knees. So folding these two blankets, placing them underneath the knees, and then having your, the soles of your feet together. So we're in this butterfly pose. You could have your heels further away from your body just to have a nice gentle restorative shape. And then your legs are in a little diamond shape, or you could have the choice to bring your heels closer to your body um, if you want more of a hip opener. So whenever you're ready, let's take a big inhalation, lengthening the spine, and then on the exhalation, you could place your palms down beside your hips, and then slowly walk down Walk your hands towards the front of the mat until you're lying all the way down onto the bolster, onto the pillows, allowing your spine to rest gently onto the pillows. Your arms could come alongside. Maybe your arms could come out in a T-shaped position making any sort of adjustments here to make yourself completely comfortable, settling into stillness. So maybe you wanna adjust the props underneath you to feel more supported. If your heels were close to your body, maybe bringing them a bit further away if the stretch is too intense. Tuning in to the natural rhythm of your own breath. So 
surrendering to this pose. So maybe giving a quick scan of the body, seeing if there are any parts of the body that's doing more work than it should at this time. If you notice any tense parts, maybe sending the breath that way, offering ease and softness. Whenever your mind wanders or whenever you start to think of something else, not judging yourself, just coming back to the breath. Noticing the quality of your breath. Noticing the sounds of your breath. Noticing how the breath moves on each inhalation and how it moves with each exhalation. Finding stillness in the shape and I'll let you know when to come out of it. Slowly making gentle movements in the body, reintroducing movement in the body by wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, maybe blinking the eyes open if they were closed down. And then start to press your hands back down onto the ground, slowly bringing yourself up, rolling yourself up off of the bolsters, off of the pillows, coming into seated, maybe closing your knees, pushing them together, hugging at the knees here, and maybe gently closing down the eyes, relaxing the forehead onto the knees and just resetting here, taking a moment here to absorb the benefits of this beautiful pose. Staying here in stillness. For one more inhalation. Staying for the exhalation. And then whenever you're ready, 
Coming back into seated. We could move the blankets away. Just moving it off to the side. And keeping the pillows and the bolster directly behind you, we're gonna move into our second pose. So we're going into a supported twist. And from here, we could place the soles of our feet onto the mat. And we're just going to slowly allow our legs to fall over to the right side. So the pillows, and the bolster could be aligned with your right hip. We're gonna place the palms on either side of the pillows, on either side of the bolster. And then from here, we're gonna inhale to twist over, lengthening the spine. And then on the exhale, we're gonna slowly walk our fingertips towards the front of the mat allowing our torso, our heart space to gently land onto the bolsters. Your forearms can come down on either side of the bolsters or the pillows. Your right cheek could fall and rest onto the props underneath you. Breathing here, again, making any adjustments to make yourself completely comfortable to allow your body to rest here, allowing your body to be still and find peace and calm. A lot of people find this, this part of being still and quiet probably the hardest part of yoga, so not judging yourself if your mind wanders. Just coming back to the breath. And we're gonna stay in this shape for 10 more breath cycles. Again, coming out of this pose, introducing movement in the body, wiggling the fingers, the toes, and then planting your palms onto the mat. Start to slowly, at your own pace, push yourself back up into seated, and then slowly coming onto your seat bones and moving over to the other side. So resetting here, allowing your feet to plant down onto the mat and then allowing your legs to fall over to the left. Aligning the short edge of the pillow or of the bolster to your left hip this time 
Planting the hands on either side of the bolster. We're gonna inhale, lengthening the spine, twisting over towards the bolster. And then on the exhale, slowly and gently at your own pace, start to walk the fingertips towards the front of the mat, allowing your torso, your belly, your heart space to gently land on your props, allowing the left side of your cheek to rest onto the bolster. Your forearms could land onto the mat. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Your neck and your upper body nice and relaxed. Your legs nice and relaxed here. Tuning into the rhythm of your own breath. And staying here for 10 more breath cycles. Gently introducing movement in the fingers, the toes, planting down through the palms, slowly pushing yourself up into a seated position as you walk your hands towards your body, coming back through center, coming up onto your seat bones, planting at the feet, and just resetting here, hugging in the legs, allowing the forehead to rest onto your knees. Staying here for a few breaths before we move into our final resting pose. Staying for one more inhale. Staying for the exhalation. And then whenever you're ready, transitioning to your last pose. We're just gonna be in a supported Shavasana. So you could have your bolster, your stack of pillows, and the bottom half of your mat. And so your legs are gonna be rested here. And then you're gonna grab one blanket and just have it um, as wide as your mat. You just have it as sort of a cushion or a pillow for your head. So we're gonna go ahead and allow the calves to rest onto your pillows, to rest onto the bolster. 
And then we're gonna slowly lower all the way down, planting the hands behind you, walking all the way down onto your backs, resting your spine, and then adjusting the blanket in any way to make you comfortable, to feel supported by the props underneath you, to feel supported by the ground underneath you, by the earth, Again, tuning into the natural rhythm of your own breath, allowing your arms to fall alongside. It could be in a T shape, or your arms could be up and overhead, giving the body whatever it needs today. Allowing each breath to be like waves of softness waves of calm washing over your body from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes relaxing the space in between your eyebrows relaxing the muscles in your cheeks around the corners of your mouth allowing your neck to feel relaxed Noticing the gentle rises and falls of your heart space with each inhalation and exhalation. Noticing the softness of the belly. Feeling support underneath your hips, underneath the glutes. Feeling calmness, watch over your arms, your hands, your fingers, your thighs, your calves, your feet and your toes. Feeling completely relaxed here. And I'll let you know when you can come out of it. Slowly and gently wiggling the fingers, the toes, nodding your head from side to side, maybe reaching your arms up and overhead, reaching the fingers away from the toes, giving your body a nice long stretch. Maybe start to bend at the knees, 
planting the soles of the feet onto the ground and rolling over to either side now using the bottom arm as a pillow to support underneath your head staying here for a moment in a fetal position Maybe keeping the eyes closed down if they were closed or offering a soft gaze in the eyes. And whenever you're ready, slowly come up into seated. Hands could come to heart center. Bowing your head slightly down towards your heart. And just taking this time to thank your body for everything that it does for you. Thanking your bones, your muscles, your joints. Thanking your heart and your mind. And I'm sure your body is thanking you right now for allowing it to rest. Allowing it to be still allowing yourself to, to fill up before you could pour into others. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, this is your village. You deserve to be well. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you guys. That was really beautiful. You're more than welcome to let me know how you feel in the forum. If you have any questions or comments um, just let me know and I'll definitely be checking out the forum and we could chat on there and also feel free to check out that video um, as many times as you'd like to and stay in the poses for as long as you'd like to stay in Shavasana for 10 minutes 20 minutes whatever serves you best so thank you so much take care of yourselves Take care of each other and I'll see you next time.